How's it going, mates? This is Mr. Charles. We're back. Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour. Now, previously, we had kind of the duel of a lifetime for real. I called one of my other videos there, but that was, wherever that game was, wherever that duel was, that was pathetic compared to what happened last time. It was a brilliant game. Nearly lost, but just barely made it. What I didn't realise is that I have a match with Rebecca, not just a duel, which means it's the best two out of three. Now, I don't know if I can beat her a second time. I think I can. But it's a good thing I saved the game at this point so I can adapt my deck if I need to. I think I'll be okay. Actually, I think she got lucky last time. So this time, we're going to see if she's got all that. If she can, you know, make a comeback. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll, I'll lose. I don't know. All right, anyway, how do I exit this? I like that, apparently. Cool. You get to choose who goes first because you lost. You failure. Okay, well, hopefully Rebecca still won't be that bad. I'm more I'm not looking forward to if Mai comes along, but I don't think she will. I think it'll be this girl, Ishizu, and some other five-star loser. Okay, well, that's a terrible start. We said that, I don't know where her face downs are. Uh, but I've got ways of blocking that. And I've got two goddesses. So I can't use them together because I have to at least one normal material. But if I um, happen to draw a fusion gate, that'd be very good for me. Right, let's start with the bad news, because I'm sure she must have a good face down, like a, a gravity bind or something, surely. No! <laughs> then why do you place it in face-up attack? Now what's going to happen is that's going to die, or go to the top of your deck, and then we'll just do this all over again. <laughs> Maybe she's just going to be going for like discarding her cards, and she's like, no, I've got a strategy for that. Alright, well... Maybe it's not the best idea to go for a life point, seeing that she specialises in increasing hers and destroying mine. Good old, um, bad reaction to Samochi deck. Without the Samochi. Okay, um, what have I got to draw, though? Okay, some of these are good. Now, I don't know what I should get rid of. I, I probably won't use Megamorph. Um, I'm going to count on not having a soul exchange needed. Okay, but so far she's doing quite bad because, well, she just kind of let herself get hit there. Oh, okay, you get the... Oh, it's back to the hand! Well, that's no good. Alright, what are you aiming for here, girl? Alright, you got rid of your serpent, so I don't have to worry about that looping forever. Mm, I'm still suspecting there's going to be some kind of um, mirror force. But if she does activate it, now isn't such a bad time for that because I've got plenty of counters. And, you know, not many great monsters. I've got good monsters, but not great monsters. So let's start with dealing with that defense. Yeah, okay, I kind of figured that would happen. Okay. Minor setback. I can still handle that. But I've only got one thing that can really destroy that. Hmm. I really need to think about getting monsters that can, like, eliminate with effect damage or something. Also, if I had like a copycat, that'd be also handy. Oh dear. Oh no. Right, do I have anything for that? I suppose I could use a Wabaku now. Knowing how vital life points can be in this game, I think I might use a negate attack. Hmm, but I need something to. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, good for you. I'll chain that. I'll chain it. Let me chain it. Let me chain it. D okay, don't let me chain it. Screw you too. Hmm. All right. Well, it still got rid of more of her life points. However, when I kill that bug, she's going to gain life points, which isn't good. Okay, but I have got something to deal with her monsters now, which is good. So I won't have to worry about your bullshit cat with a mirror for a face, because it's so fuck up. No! Oh, you bastard! What else can I use? Can I use Wabaku? Okay, that's uh, that's not good. Well, she has a counter for every situation. It's horrible. Right, still minor setback. I can still win this. I hope they certainly haven't. They, they have. Oh god, really? Now I really ha wish I had that thing because I could eliminate the the monster that's going to cause me the most trouble in the game. Okay, a morphing jar that could come in handy. That is not the combination I wanted her to have. Okay. Uh, again, minor setback. I can work with this. Just need to discover what we got. If 
find a way of getting rid of that monster. Oh god, this is going to be painful again. And I can't rely on the um, card thing, I don't think. The deck destruction, only because... I don't think I'm going to... Well, the problem with that is I'm going to need to get my morphing jar out again, again. And I think I've got less cards in my deck now. Because I used the... Oh, I mean, we both used the graceful, I suppose. I mean, I suppose I could check it. I'm still going to have issues. I'm trying to think how I can deal with it. I could easily get rid of the... Um... Oh, no! 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 No, I wish I had that tragedy trap card. Fuck me, she's burning me. She's burning me like a hot poker. Hmm, okay. Well, I could start restoring life points with Dancing Fire. How does Fire Princess work? Each time you increase your life. Okay, so it's not anyone's life points. Thank God for that. Um. So she has 22 cards. I have. I have 22. Okay. So I just need to make sure I use my cards better than her. And I've got my excavation of major stones, so I could use that to get back a shallow grave and then get this out twice. Maybe she'll have something else I could use to my advantage. Alright, but I'm going to try and count on life point um, enhancement right now. Uh, what we got? I could also try and sacrifice. But I can't... None of these... Ah, why do I have so many four stars? If I had an XYZ deck, this wouldn't be a problem. That could be obsolete right now. My only real hope is to draw Heavy Storm right now. Oh god, of course she has that too. No, I think I'm boned to be. I don't know how I'm going to recover this one. Yep, yeah, good for you. You've so won this. I've no strategy out of this at all. It's not really good at all. Alright, you're going to attack that you got. Great. <laughs> I need you to attack the face down so I can get um, my life points up again. So I have to let you do that. Okay, good. With that attack, I can use Wabaku. Yes. That'll flip my monster, and I'll get a thousand points, like, more every turn. Thankfully. Gracefully. Gotta admit, whenever I play Legacy of the Duelist, a Samochi deck is the kind of thing I go for, as well as a King of the Skull Serpents deck. What I'm basically saying is, she's got a pretty good card, but I might have just drawn something better. Is that a... Uh, no, it's a four star, so I am going to have to get her to attack me. Having said that, there's a very good way I could use Nudoria right now. How does it work again? So it's a good version. Destroy one monster, so it's not any specific monster. Okay. So what I'm going to do is place that in attack mode and lure her to attack that and use it to destroy Fire Princess. Now, after that, she's going to gain loads of life points. This has to be another deck destruction, unfortunately. I'm going to be playing this quite um, narrowly. Might not be able to do this as well as I'd want to. Okay, yeah, I'm going to lose more life points. Oh, I hate every second of this. Right, attack directly. Yeah, there's no surprise there. I kind of want to get rid of that thing first, but I can't really risk that right now. I need to get rid of Fire Princess, because that's where a majority of the shit comes from. Right. No, I'm going to have to let myself get damaged here. For a thousand points, Jesus. Okay. Minor setback. I just needed that fairy to last a bit longer so I could gain life points again. Effect activates. Going to destroy your fucking gay Fire Princess. Now, you can't use this effect to ruin me. That's, and you, okay, you blocked the thing. I'm not attacking those insects. So that's fine. Darcy Fairy gives me life points, so I'm actually doing okay for myself. I could also, wait, I could just shadow spell that um, servant. I mean, even if it makes her lose life points, that's not such a terrible thing. Then the only real thing I have to worry about is the copycat. But I think I have a strategy around that. So if I switch this to attack, 
you're going to be, yeah, okay. And then set this face down. Then when she attacks, I'll use my trap. Okay, so I've got everything I need to block hate her. The only thing that could fuck, like, fuck me over a bit right now is if she gets another fire princess. But my only real hope of winning this at this point is, is getting her to run out of cards again, annoyingly. This is a phenomenal deck. I love her deck. It's exactly, like I said, it's exactly the kind of deck I would go for. Right, you can fuck off with that bullshit. Uh, Shadow Spell! As Kaiba, Sito Kaiba once said. Right, and that is for you. Okay, and then you're doing that. And I've prepared for this in advance. I have taken your booking details, but I do still need your phone number. Well, <laughs> better not sell it to a 10-year-old girl, Mr. Charles. You might get done for pedophilia. All right. Well, so much for you stealing my Jurai Gummo's attack. I mean, in the end, he didn't really do anything, but, you know. Cool. Now, I won't gain any life points this next turn. Oh, fuck. Shit, okay. That's not ideal. But it's not the end of the world either, because I have something for that. Yes, I do. Uh, if I do Call of the Haunted, get my new Doria out, I can get that fucking bitch out of the way. So, new Doria. Hello, gorgeous. Can't attack with you, but it won't work with me. Now... How many life points is she bound to gain? She's bound to gain, like, at least two doses, so I'll lose a thousand. But I need Dancing Fairy to live a bit longer. So I'm gonna have to not get any life points this turn, because fire, bitch, tits... Actually, she's level four anyway, but the point is I need to make sure that, that bitch... Wait, she can't attack. No! Shit, she can't attack! Ah, crap. Okay. Minor setback. I should have switched Nidoro to... Def oh, I couldn't do that anyway, because it's called The Haunted. Right. Okay. Still not the end of the world. Yet. Right, all of them are level 4, except the servant who can't do anything. That might not be such a terrible thing, because, well, I, I'm going to lose a thousand, but if I keep using my Dancing Fairy, I'll keep gaining a thousand, so we'll be stuck in a loop until someone gets a move on, hopefully. Oh dear. Shame it's not just when Nudora goes to the graveyard, because then I'd stand a decent chance at this. No, I'm not going to chain down the card. God, I'm definitely going to prepare for this kind of shit in advance. Yep, yeah, good, good. I'm so glad I drew a dancing fairy of all things in this game. Sangam, is there anything else I could get from my deck that could help me right now? Uh, no. I could attack with Sangam. And I could use that. Can I attack with Sangam actually? Yeah, I can. And I could use my excavation of mage stones to get Rush Reckless back. But what if she gets something good out? cards has she got? 17. How many cards have I got? Okay, but she's going to draw next, so she's just about losing. Hmm. Um, I'm going to go for it. it, it I've definitely got enough attack. Right? Oh, but she might have Mirror Force. Oh, I can't risk that, can I? How does this card work? When this card's destroyed as a result of battle, okay, so that's not going to work. Might as well just switch you guys to defense just in case. And then is this when this is just sent to the graveyard? Okay. Sent from field to the graveyard. Okay. Um. I mean, is there any good magic cards I can get right now? Is there anything that can make this game go slightly quicker? I can get a soul exchange. Wait a minute. If I just get that out, I could sacrifice my well, Jurai Gummo and then that would eliminate that. Yeah, that sounds like... Why wouldn't I do that? Okay, cool. To so do this. I'm going to get rid of Sangon because I don't want to get a card from my deck. And I'll get rid of... I'll get rid of Red Eyes because I'm not going to use any fusion in this game. Cool. Get Soul Exchange. Now, I can summon this turn, can't I? Good, okay. Use Soul Exchange. Make sure I get the right monster. And, you know, not one that's going to actually need to survive. Okay, the only downside here is it does give her a chance to get something decent out. But I don't think she's going to do that because she's incompetent. Okay, go there. Right, now as a, as a card in this game, 
Sangra's Thunder is not going to be useful because he can't attack. And also, she's not going to get any strong monsters out. Don't know if I've blown that or made that, but regardless, I've done something with myself. Well, you're getting life points, good for you. You got your man in the fallen one, good for you. But I'm not losing life points. Now, what do you have to put on the. F okay, but that can attack. Were you attacking? Oh. Right, well, I'm going to stop you doing that. Yeah, because I, that's a useless card unless you get it in the graveyard. So if I do that, and then switch my new droid to attack mode next turn, then I don't have to worry about jack shit. Cool, yes please, more life points. Okay, uh... I really want to finish this game this turn, this this episode, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. Uh, 16 cards versus 16. I could easily make a discard more if I had my shallow grave. But, well, no, I can't use my shallow grave because she's not got room for that. So, in other words, this is going to be the game that takes forever. Not to she's still fucking using effects left and right. Okay. Oh, wait, my... My giant soldier stone's level 3. I could... Well, I could attack, but I don't know why I would, if I'm honest. <laughs> right, no, look. The best and safest way forward at the moment is just to pass turns. I mean, the only way Rebecca could get out of this is to get a spell card like Lightning Vort. Oh, for fuck's sake, don't say that. I bet she's just waiting for it as well. Just waiting for the right card to come in her hand. Hmm, maybe I should set a defense in case something really does happen like that. Okay, but I'm restoring my life points, and to be fair, she can't... Unless she does have a bad reaction to some else in her deck. She, I think she's fucked. Right. She could attack with her Sangha now. I really want to leave like one face down thing on the field. But I don't have that opportunity. Yeah, start discarding your shit, bitch. Start getting rid of it all. Yeah. Mate, you can restore your life points until you're an Egyptian god card. It doesn't matter. God, if you had Ra on your deck, I might actually be kind of scared. That's not doing anything. You get rid of all that. Well, you got rid of a DD warrior lady there. Mirror wall. That's not going to be useful at all. I love how I, I think I'm gaining life points quicker than her. And she's the life point restoration deck user here. Okay, good for me. Wish I had like some kind of level down here thing, to be honest. Because then I could use my silent magician and just go all out. But again, she's got so many life points. I don't think there's a point to that. Partly thinks maybe a, a mucus yolk would be all right right now. Okay, well, thankfully, and for some strange reason, Rebecca hasn't thought about attacking me. Personally, I think that's a bit dumb, because if I knew I had a lightning vortex in my deck somewhere, I'd want to use that ASAP. But whatever. We'll, we'll just keep going in circles. No, I'm going to make this work. <laughs> One way or another, even if the viewer gets bored shitless. Maybe I should ta start taking shots. Oh, good, I got rid of a gravity bind. Which, you know, I suppose if I really wanted to win by fusion, I'd... Well, I'd need to get out, um... My bitch in the, the graveyard. I got two of them there. Well, let's activate a, a fucking a field card. Let's get a fusion game, even though I can't fuse anything, as far as I know. Good for me. Good for fucking me. Right, how many cards are left? Because this is taking forever. 11 versus... Okay, fine, so... Still winning, but again, I'm probably going to have to tell you guys stories about stuff. I don't really have any at the moment. <laughs> Nothing's really happened. I mean, we like, ended up celebrating that sister's birthday or something. And the next day, Kata was going to go yo sushi. But unfortunately, none of the girls... Well, the girls were hung over. So they didn't want to get out of bed and do their thing. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, well, Shadow Girl would be really good right now if I could actually, you know, get out and use it. I'm going to keep it in my hand just in case that does happen. Uh, goodbye, Gilgarth. I don't have any feelings for you. So when she was let down, um, I said that I'd take her out, Yosushi, instead. Then I realised I have literally no money, and I had to let her down. Not really my finest moment. Bit of a prick thing to do. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's get that now. When we can't use it. I mean, again, I'm getting loads of life points, which is, you know, nice. But I can't, I can't use that. Not to mention, like, oh, I don't even know what to do with any of this. Like, I might as well just keep discarding cards. If I do get a heavy storm, I might use it. 
if not for the sake that I don't really want to just lie here doing nothing all game. And you know, I'll be getting rid of something from your fucking life. Get rid of, like, maybe your like, two mirror forces you got there, or magic cylinders, or whatever, and we could have, like, a duel to the death. God, I wish I had something to get some good shit out. Okay, still nothing decent. Just, just, just continually destroying my deck. It's like watching something die. You ever seen that? I had a pet hamster that I had to see that too, and that wasn't very nice at all. My episode's nearly over running, but I don't want to be faced with Rebecca next episode. I want her out of the way. I mean, last duel was actually quite tense because I was nearly at the brink of death. Th this is the exact opposite, despite the same circumstances. Like, we're just both turning into gods. I'm progressively getting there. Actually, I think maybe we're accelerating at the same pace because maybe she gets 500 from Mary in there or something. But it doesn't feel like I'm catching up with her all of a sudden. Right, and then do that there. Oh, God, this is so boring. <laughs> do you think maybe at 50 turns they call it a, a draw? In which case I'd be angry that I went through all of this to suffer. Just, just to suffer. Why is she getting her fucking serpent back? It's not making a difference. At all. <laughs> I could use my rope of life and get a strong Sangan out. Or Sanga, Sangan, whatever the fuck he's called. Right, you got six. I've got six. Part of me wishes I kept my card destruction in my deck. I'm not going to need a rope of life. <laughs> There's no life in this game. It's been sat stagnant forever. So, so, but you know what? Actually, I am going to end the episode because there's not long of this left, and I can take a break and have a coffee and just be like, okay, let's just let's just let this do its thing. And again, it's not long, but I just can't be asked right now. So, if you want to play the game, see if you can get through this. Let me link the game in the description down below. Without further ado, the bit scratch on this time. See ya.